All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, J. Will. So, kind of um, a 2017 48 hours video with the iPhone 7 Plus. You guys already know I had this phone before back in 2016 when it first launched. And, you know, you know the story. Sold it right away after, you know, not being too interested in it. And um, decided to come back to it again in 2017. Uh, but, uh, you know, the phone has actually been pretty good. Uh, the software is just what I like, like on my iPad 7, excuse my iPad Pro 9.7. Um, that operating system, it just runs so smooth. And um, you guys have always heard me say that I prefer, you know, iOS on a iPad, you know, because of the size. I think it's better on an iPad. But, you know, the thing is, this operating system runs well, period. It's just a very fluid and very nice operating system and I just have no problems with it at all uh, when I said in another video that I you know I get bored really fast it's, it's just you know the operating system itself is just needs an update it's just kind of bland but with that being said there's not very many cons to this operating system so in this real short video I just want to point out a few things that I've noticed uh, about iOS um, that I've, I've known about in the past but I didn't really want to touch on it too much some people get offended during these videos and they think, you know, you're bashing their phone, but <laughs> this is my experience. So, uh, in the App Store, there are certain things that I just don't like, and I was already there in particular. This application right here, Legend, is actually free in the um, Android Store. Uh, and I don't know if there's a pro version, but it's definitely free because I have it on my Android phones. But it's just $2 over here, so little things like that really annoy me. And I might have spoken to this in another video, but... Things like that really annoy me, ha having to pay for applications that I have free on the other side, and vice versa. There are applications that are probably free in the Android store, or uh, you have to pay for in the Android store that are free over here. Um, but um, the battery life on this thing has been pretty good. The last time I looked at the battery, I, I just charged it. I took it off the charger before this video, and uh, it lasts through a full day. It takes me um, takes me just under two hours to charge it from uh, like 5% to 100%. Uh, just under two hours. That's not bad. You know, it's, it's definitely not the quickest charging time, but I just put the put it on the charger and pick up a different phone. So that hasn't been really a problem for me. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm getting about, and, and I don't like the way the iOS platform does as far as screen on time. And things. So I would really like to measure that. It's more of a usage thing. Uh, and, you know, that's fine. It's just, you know, I wish that they would actually show how much screen on time I'm actually getting. Uh, in a different format. Now, right now it says it's been in standby for 45 minutes and I have 24 minutes of usage. Prior to that, it was eight hours and 44 minutes of usage and about 14 hours of standby. Uh, real world testing, this phone lasts all day. I, I, I have found myself having to charge it every night, uh, but that's okay. You know, there, there's plenty of my other Android phones that I have to charge every night. So I'm not so much sweating that, but you know, the, the experience itself on iOS is actually really good. I mean, I'm really impressed. Uh, not that I, this is my first time using iOS, but, you know, again, you know, I, I have an iPhone 7, and, you know, that's just too small. I thought I wanted to use that because I know I wouldn't use it for a while, but um, just having all these phones laying around, it's kind of pointless uh, to have, like, 100 phones laying around. You might as well sell them and buy something else, unless you're a collector. If you collect phones, now I do collect certain phones that I will never sell, uh, no, I shouldn't say never, but there's just some phones I just don't plan on selling. I'd give them away first before selling them. Uh, but they're definitely collector items for me. So, um, but with that being said, this item right here is, it will probably turn into a collector's item until the new iPhone. Is it called the iPhone X or something like that? Whatever whatever it is. Uh, if that comes out and it's really good, I'll trade this one for it or sell this one. Uh, whatever I decide to do at the time. But um, one other thing I like about this phone is the camera. And I also like the camera recording function. So if I'm in video mode, I can record 4K as long as I want until the memory runs out. That's one thing I don't like about some Android phones. You can only record up to 10 minutes in 4K or some, some phones 5 or they'll just shut down. Uh, and, and the Galaxy S7 that I used to record some of my videos lately, I can only do 10 minutes and 60, 1080p at 60 frames per second. I'm like, what? So I can only record unlimited with... Um, with 1080p at 30 frames per second and below, and I actually have a big SD card in, in the phone, and you know, it's just one of those things, but battery life on this thing is good, the cameras, I like the way it is, they, they take great pictures, I don't like, they still haven't improved the microphones on this phone, 
So I'll be boosting the microphones. I've already got something coming in. So I'll be if I decide to use this for recording, I'll boost it uh, and you know have clear mics, uh, uh, clear audio from this. So I don't have to enhance the sound on the computer because I hate doing that. But it is what it is. So quick update. You know, 48 hours back in 2017 with the iPhone 7 Plus, it's actually really good. And it's good because I haven't had it in a while and I switch colors, you know, so little things like that. I got a different color case, little things like that. I try to keep myself interested in, in phones, you know, to try to make sure I'm getting the most uh, usage out of them. But I've got some things coming, so you just look for it. I'm sure some people will be surprised, but um, you just stay out on the lookout for it. I'll be one of the first. So, it's your man J. Will. I'll see you guys in the next video. Quick update on the iPhone 7 Plus. Yes, yeah, pretty good. It's pretty good.